Today we will make this growing flower by using geometry nodes to create this geometrical shape, growing shape, and then render using stable diffusion and with a little simple prompt of flower. So how to do this? Our setup is actually not so complicated. It's just like uh, maybe 10, 10 nodes and then animating them. And we will use just like very basic nodes like extrude, dual mesh and st split edges. Let's go there and take this very simple uh, hex, uh, acosphere geometry. Um, what we will do first is to, to add a dual mesh node in order to make a hexagonal shape out of it. Then let's use the split edges node to separate the, the hexagons and like the, the pentagons between them. And we can then use scale geometry, scale elements, uh, scale elements, uh, I think it is in the mesh, scale elements to scale each element of it. And on top of this, we can also extrude the geometry. Extrude mesh. And so like this will be our growing flowers. And we can also add, like I did here, some, some more extruding and scaling elements. Let's do this. So here. So extrude again. So now they are like going other shapes out of it. And maybe like uh, we can put on top of them just the tops um, using just the top, top elements. These are like here. And, and also maybe like use the, the edges. So we have like now this growing thing and yeah, and it's going backward. And then we can, we can extrude everything back. Maybe that they start, uh, this is like, it gets a little bit more chaotic, which, which is maybe we need. So, okay, um, and now we can start to animate actually already uh, this growing part of it. So let's let's go and first scale all the geometry. Now we can use this tab, or we can also take a transform geometry node to scale it and we can use our vector vector mat and scale and we can put here one this is the original geometry and well this doesn't scale well because the each element is not scaled um, what can we do here in this part is just like using maybe uh, the scale function here. And we will put, we let's start in a very small scale. Yeah, maybe like here and put a keyframe. And let's say our flower will grow slowly until until 130. So this is just like the basic scaling. And let's go to, to our camera view. So, and then put another keyframe. And also put here an interpolation of, uh, let's make a quadratic move that it gets starts slowly and gets gets faster. 
And meanwhile, also, it should get also more complicated. So for this, you can use here zero to make it uh, look like this. And here the this one, and here also this one. Let's put them here, keyframes. Uh, we, we don't see the keyframes here, but we can select all, and then you'll have also the other, or geometry node keyframes as well. And then determine, right, they are here, let's put them on the 80th frame. And we will use like this and also this and also maybe let's go in a little bit here and we also use this one and Let's put also keyframes here. So, so now you can see it comes from a s more simple shape and opens opens these flowers. Okay, um, how it would look like in rendered mode? Uh, it looks pretty gray. Let's create two two shader colors and let's use uh, not this emission but let's use one violet and not emission but a diffuse shader here uh, let's see what we are doing uh, like here this violet we have to of course add right here as set material and it's violet so and maybe we can also add some um, some uh, yellow to it let's go there and take the again to shading make another slot we don't need to they have them in slot but I don't have another place to put them so let's take this diffuse node, another one, and add a, let's call it yellow. And to see how it looks like, we go back here and check this, uh, this yellow one. Back to shading. And something like this maybe. And of course it depends also our light. Uh, let's make a sunlight which is like maybe five or yeah, maybe even 10. And let's turn it away from, oh, it's too bright, let's take five, good. And let's mix the, let's mix the here. And let's mix the, let's make another material node. And this should be the violet one. And uh, let's put the violet here. Uh, and let's only take the, the top ones, which will be, which will become yellow. Or maybe like here even. Or this one, what looks? Oh, this will be the everything. Let's take this one. Ah, this will be too much, maybe. I want to just take the the top ones, which are also here, to make them yellow. And let's look how the animation looks like. So it's at the beginning yellow, and then. 
the violet and out of the violet the, the yellow ones come. Okay, maybe this is for now enough to check how our flower will look like. Um, I explained before in other tutorials how to install stable diffusion for um, Blender, the Blender AI. I will put also the link to, to, to the description of the video, but I already installed it, so I will ena enable it. And for test, test phase, I will just take the 512 five times 512. I will just like top here flower. Okay. And now let's render the image. And you can see it already gets rendered as a as a flower. And if you want to animate it, um, I'm using this this style, but you also don't need to have even a style. Even without a style, it looks good. And uh, to have a really nice animation, I would uh, propose suggest you to take the DDM sampler and a high image similarity like 0.70. In this case, then you can have uh, much similar results. And of course, like keeping, if you find a nice seed, just keep it. Um, and I could also tell you, I will suggest you to take the, save your after images to compare them to find the best ones because it will also save your seeds. So in this way, you can find the best seed. And just like a pick, pick a pad for your, um, Try rendering tries and to, to see them and to compare them. So I will check just like this folder and just check with, with different seeds how they would look like. And if you are like satisfied with one of them, so like this check some other one there are maybe like two too similar to the original image you can also go a little bit down with this to see what happens so it goes it starts to hallucinate things which are not there if you go a little bit below and if you are happy just like uncheck the random seat option go to the animation Again, find a, a, a path for it and to render where you want to render your, your animation. Give uh, the, uh, get, a, get a folder. So, and then you can simply start rendering your animation with this. But maybe we can also add uh, a little bit more, some, some more elements to it. Let's go back to geometry nodes. Maybe having a little branch would be also nice. Uh, for this, we'll take again a bezier curve, which is here. Let's minimize this here. You can see this is like my... And let's put it here and the other end a bit down. And uh, let's create mesh out of it, like curve, operations, curve, curve to mesh, and put a another curve primitive, a circle, that is too thick. I can like make it a little bit a little thinner, and and like even add um, a shader to it. Maybe also just a diffuse one. And maybe like a fitting green. So we don't see at the moment, so let's go to the back to the geometry nodes, add material, set material this green one, okay. And like even you can add some, some more to it. 
Oh, sorry. This one. You can just like paint some. Some additional parts to it. Which looks like maybe a little bit have the the touch of a leaf. Maybe like here. You know, like this they will be rendered as a as a piece. And you can also go also with uh shift and S. Uh, Shift S and S. Control A, I think. Uh, can reduce the radius of them. And our sun is not, not really coming here. So maybe like having a secondary light here. Uh, here, which is maybe a little bit softer. Okay. So let's try how this would look like. Render it. See that the leaves are happening, but there's a hole in it, which is not so not so not so nice. So therefore maybe we can just like erase this once. And first increase the radius again and decrease the radius. And yeah, like also like having here maybe some additional parts to it. And let's try to have a better light condition here. And maybe we can also have really nice background. Maybe even a sky. We have this the setting, world setting, where you can just change the color of the background for with the east camera array. Now we have like this white background, but you can change it to a very smooth bluish sky. And let's render it again. Yeah, it's getting there. You see, the, the leaves are forming, the flower is there. And in, of course, like if you go back in time and render it, it will just render this part. And yeah, this is doesn't fit to to there, um, and of course, like we can, we can fit it to bringing it there where it starts, and also like our our leaves. And. And this is it basically. So you can you can try to uh, different different colors, different options, and then at the end you can have like if I will render this one, it will be like just like the the little sprossling sprout, and it will then grow to a full flower if you continue animate each frame. So if you have this, your render animation, uh, render, uh, uh, you set up the animation mode and put, put a path in order to render, you have to click this render animation part and then it will render a full animation. Yeah, um, thank you for watching and feel free to uh, drop a comment or if you have any questions, you can put there and enjoy.